Hello Sagittarius and welcome back. Tonight we'll be looking at the energies that will be born for you and we're talking about the week starting from the 17th till the 23rd of May 2021. So, Sagittarius, let's see. Oh, okay. You are waiting for the best to come. Um, Sagittarius, I will be looking at an energy or an event that uh, um, happened in your life, but for some reason it is connected, and we will see the reason. Uh, it's connected with the energy that will be born for you this week, and of course with your future. And uh, Sagittarius, I will not stay too long in the past, but I will get deeper into your current energies and of course I will get deeper into your into your future energies so let's see oh making your dreams come true in a fucking victorious way and uh, this could also include for some of you uh, a partnership, a relationship, friends. Oh. And what happened? What happened there? Change. What changed? We're talking about superpower here. You had been waiting about super fucking power. Uh, something very big to happen in your life in the past. Very big. Um, has to do with change. Maybe you had to change, so to get this, maybe this made you change. Uh, for some of you, it could also be that uh, has to do with something uh, abroad, or with foreigners, or with one specific foreigner. If it is not foreigner, it could be just um, distance, physical distance, with uh, absolutely physical distance, yes, 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 yes with someone but we're talking about huge and total power and success and I don't know what happened there we will see we will see why this energy is uh, present here could be a uh, power financially could be power emotionally and yes Is, uh, the dominating here this reading is the two of cups love divine love and success at the center of your reading is the world the most successful card we said about the past let's see now about uh, this uh, this week energy person cheated on you that person in the past that wanted power cheated on you I think yes that person cheated on you and uh, cheated on you uh, could be physically could be uh, in any other way uh, tricked you betrayed you and uh, that's why change came the temperance was here temperance is here change you moved on you moved on very determined. Uh, of course, you had a dilemma, or you will be having a dilemma because we're talking about the energy that will be born, okay? The past is past, and you will be having a dilemma probably which uh, uh, path to choose. But as I see here, it would lead you, yes, maybe a little bit up and down, but it would lead you to your pure fucking power. Okay, this is another person, as I told you, that you have been waiting about this powerful person you're becoming the powerful person anyway 
Um, here it is again, the emperor, two times. From here, it goes here, right, the emperor. We're talking about that person. And I think that that person cheated on you. And you left. Things changed. You moved on. Options. Same card. Same card. Wow. So now we will understand what will happen. Um, look. The world's success has to do with the Seven of Cups. That is here at the future. With the Nine of Swords, that is here at the future. And with your stability. <sighs> success for you at this point, do you know what it is? Hmm? Understanding that uh, all of this in the past was illusion was an illusion it was an illusion that kept you um, into your head uh, overthinking and overthinking and uh, with this success ending this cycle of the past that is also appear here the future it is your success and this one will bring you your happiness will bring you calmness, will bring you peace, will bring you stability. And here comes love. And here for you comes love, comes balance, comes happiness and joy. And when it comes to you, uh, pleasure, happiness equal give and take, love, love, love. You're fighting with yourself. Why are you doing this? It's here, divinely guided. It is coming to you. Why do you worry? Because you think that in the future you could have also, uh, you could, it could also be an illusion and uh, it would make you overthink and pass all these uh, difficulties again in the future. I don't think so. I really have my doubts on this. You, you will see, you will see how, how connected is this with the past. Ah, that's it. Oh fuck, it's unbelievable. Look, um, Sagittarius. Past, present, future, okay? Past. At your, at the energy that it will be born, as we said, uh, it is the Seven of Cups. The delusions that will stop. Hmm? And you'll have the success and stability. What more? Look here. The illusions that we said before, okay, you're leaving them behind. What are these illusions? The Two of Cups, Two of Wands that you had in the past, and the Three of Wands that you had in the past. So, this energy that was an illusion for you, you are leaving it all behind you. That's great, you know, to have this clarity, to have this understanding in your life, in the future, where you are heading towards and uh, what is right, what is wrong, that you can separate uh, uh, reality from illusions, from uh, deception. And at the same time, where are you? Uh, I told you the process. That was one guy, okay, because I see the emperor and the empress, maybe it's your, could be your spouse or someone that you had, uh, long-term relationship or committed relationship anyway what you are leading heading towards is queen of pentacles the powerful queen that has money that likes luxuries that is lustful yes new beginning for you financially new beginning for you sexually in any case this process will make you be the queen of pentacles. Stable with money, with lust, and taking care of your own self. 
Sagittarius. Ah, ah, absolutely, 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 absolutely. You, um, the Six of Pentacles, as we said before, that uh, love is coming to you, happiness and celebration, absolutely is coming to you. And not only, now we are getting towards karma. The person, oh, for first of all, this energy, we said that it will stop, okay, it will stop. This illusion, this overthinking here, will stop with the world. Stop and bring you success. Hmm? The world with the Nine of Swords. Stop and bring you success. It's exactly the same energy. And uh, you really manifest this ending. From one side, you want it with all your heart. From the other side, the universe is helping you achieving it. Tower. Tower comes and destroys the illusions. Tower comes and destroys <coughs> this, <coughs> this overthinking. Tower comes and destroys everything that was bad from the past, like the two of ones, the three of ones, and uh, the seven of cups. You leave them behind with your own help, with your own, um, with the, the universe and God's help, and with your own actions. You are really very good in manifesting. And you're going to have justice. That, that, that person also that hurt you, this is what I want to say to you, uh, going towards karma, hmm. that person will get what he or she deserves. Because made you be like this. Let's see the Empress. You are your total power, home independent. <laughs> Okay, I will say this to you. You're getting uh, emotionally touched from, from the past. The Empress is getting emotionally touched from the Emperor from the past, okay? The Empress with total power, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles before, and now as the Empress having everything that you want, everything that you want, you want, of course, also financial stability and your independence to do what? to find new love lovers, to find real love in your life, and good sex, very good sex. The Two of Cups with the lovers, major and minor arcana about love and soulmate, and sex, that's great. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Actually, that's fucking brilliant, I love it, I love it. Wow, what a reading, right? That's a crazy cycle here. Crazy cycle. The, the person that cheated on you in the past is having uh, retribution, okay? He will have, that person will have his or her karma. And then you just open your eyes, you see, you move on, you destroy all illusions. You feel that, yes, maybe I don't, uh, Maybe this will happen in the past, in the future, again and again with everyone that is coming and offering me, offering me uh, love. No, it will not happen. You get rid of, of the past. It is not that the past repeat itself. You get rid of the past. You leave the past behind. You leave the past behind. It stops this overthinking about the past. And when you are uh, free, independent also uh, inside of you having the clarity and not being dependent to anyone because you are the Empress you move on to find pure love in your life pure love and great sex oh Sagittarius hmm. I like oh forgive you have to forgive you have to forgive, I told you, universe, God will uh, pay back that person, but uh, don't hold grudges, okay? Huh? Forgive and let 
universe and God to do what they have to do. You are getting towards your harmony. You will be feeling so good, so good. So Sagittarius, this was uh, I was happy for you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take care of yourselves and uh, bye for now.